to Accordion Cafe and today we're going to be working on this uh, washing machine and we're going to be replacing the pressure switch. Start by removing the lid. Um, the reason you may want to get at the pressure switch is perhaps your machine's not filling properly, maybe it's overfilling. So we're going to check the pressure switch, the pressure statue and it could also be um, in, the, in the chamber, there may be a blockage. With these pressure switches, don't don't try adjusting them even if you cure that particular problem if it's not filling or overfilling um, a lot of machines use these switches oh, that one's missing in conjunction with a timer and you can um, create another problem so if your pressure switch is at fault don't mess with the screws on the back just replace the switch there we are <coughs> On this machine, we give it a little tap back, and it comes off. This is the pressure switch here. It's a round object. It has a few wires on the side and a black rubber tube. That's your pressure stat tube there. Obviously, this machine is not plugged in. It's always remove the plug. These switches, these connectors here, they slide off. They've got a little latch, two little hook latches. You squeeze the back of the switch like that and then pull it off. You can see those raise those two little claw hooks on here. I'll just show you that again. So you squeeze that there at the top and pull it out. On your machine it may be a different um, arrangement so you'll have to have a look at that. Next there's a Phillips screw here. Here we have the Phillips screw here. Now here's the uh, pressure switch and the pressure stat tube on the back. Um, check this for um, when you pull it off. Uh, go down the tube and have a look for any um, perishing by bending the tube over and check it for blockages um, because if the tube's blocked that is probably your fault if it's overfilling. Um, and there we are, that's the pressure stat tube which fits on the back of there and you simply pull that off. Now there may be um, a clip on that on your machine but simply pull that off and then you've got your part numbers on the switch uh, so you can replace it. The cost of these is usually about, uh, for this particular type, I think these are about £8. Um, I mean so some of these pressure switches they may have more than switch, they may have three switches inside them um, they, they can vary from £8 to Thirty-five pounds. Certainly not this one. This one is about eight quid uh, at the time of the filming. Um, so there we are. That's about the price you'll pay for this eight, eight to ten pound, I would think. <coughs> now, if you've got a multimeter, you can try and check these if you want to by putting your uh, meter leads from one lead from one tag to another, and then put a piece of tube on there, maybe a bit of that, and uh, blow it down there um, if your lungs are strong enough and see if the, when you hear the switch flick over uh, see if your meter bleeps and um, that's about it really you might as well just change the switch you can't repair these don't try and adjust that switch um, because you can upset the other other things on the machine as well because these are used in conjunction sometimes with a timer as well to check if there's a fault and, and a, a, another fault code will come up on the machine um, this is your presser stat tube um, you can follow this down and uh, replace the tube if it's perished at all have a good look round it look for splits and cracks and especially blockages um, at the bottom end especially anyway there we are that's your pressure switch and um, that's your uh, pressure switch and reassembly is just a reversal one screw your plugs your pipe back on with the lid and then you can plug it back in again and test it with your new switch on so best of luck with that hope this has been some use to you if you've got any questions, um, uh, please leave it in the comments box. Okay, bye for now.